Hello and welcome, I'm Aruba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Tech Team Naples with Shen. Hello. How you doing? I'm pretty good, man. We were comparing mice between episodes. Yes. <laughs> That's right. You heard it here first, folks. We got together and compared the sizes of our mice. So what did you learn about your mice? Moosin. Many I can't much believe you were using that Logitech for so long. That's... <laughs> yeah. Many much Moosin. That's not really even like a, a gaming mouse. It's just a generic Ooh, Commandant. mouse. Commandant. Shen, we have a discipline guy for level one. So good. But we don't need him yet. Um, yeah, I was using a Logitech M215. It's really, really tiny. Um, it's a micro mouse. It's a tiny USB wireless mouse. And I liked that it was really quiet and it was really light. And, it, and the clicking was like, you couldn't tell that it was making any noise at all. But I think I've gotten over the last year or so, I've gotten really used to this itty bitty tiny mouse, and my hand looks like cramping and stuff. Why'd you pause the game, Shen? I'm gonna send a diplomat before the end of the month. When your relations up. Okay. But yeah, I think I got used to it, and now I gotta get used to a big one again. That's Mark. what she said. <laughs> so You're worse than Northern Lion is, in some ways. You know that? <laughs> in some ways. Not always, but some ways. So we got some uh, negative stability um, unrest. We're going to have a rebellion in Lombardia. I'm okay with increasing stability. It's only 62 points. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. Done. In fact, I would be in favor of increasing it again, just because mm -hmm. I like being at, at positive one. And we're already at plenty, plus eight years ahead of time, so mm -hmm. might as well. One thing I, I am concerned about, or not concerned, one thing that I'm considering is what do we take as the next idea group? Mm, infantry combat ability? What would that be? <laughs> Quality. <laughs> we already have that. No, we're going quantity. Oh, no, you're right. Shoot, I thought we already... I thought we went quantity. Yeah, okay, never mind. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else that increases infantry combat ability? Uh, let me look through the decisions. I'm going to go look it up. I have a... I think I have a saved thing of, like, all the different ways you can max out, max out scores. Okay. Uh, you, you have a min-max file? Basically, yeah. Actually, it looks like I don't have it. Never mind. We'll worry about it later. I don't know, Shen. What do you want to pick? I would probably go for trade or influence. Influence for the lowered uh, aggressive expansion. 20% 20, 20, 20 cheaper is pretty good, and you get an extra relationship. That's nice. Um, or trade for the just for the old cash. I love cash. And in the Mediterranean here, if we do take over the Venetian, of course, you, you can't considerably sit there and say that we're not going to take the Venetian trade note. Of course we are. And if we do, we could just funnel tons of cash there if we go beat up the Ottomans and the Mamluks and stuff. Yeah, that's true. I, I would kind of be more inclined to expand towards the, the Sevilla node, though. Really? Because, because it's downstream from our current node. It's easier to expand downstream than upstream. So are you ready for another negative one stability? God damn it, Shen. No. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> I'm, I meet your symbols with my gong. <laughs> <laughs> so I did have a gong sound. Do they have a gong sound if you play like Japan or China? I don't know. That'd be awesome. Well, Austria is back. Oh no, he's not friendly anymore. Austria is down to 58 relations. What? Something Versus changed. We annexed a member of the Holy Roman Empire. Oh yeah, that's gonna take. It only goes away at 0 0.08 per year. What? That's so slow. Yeah, and guess what? We're about to annex another one. Don't tell anyone, okay? At zero points per month. We're not even progressing. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. That was like the only way we'd actually get Tuscany high enough to be able to do it. Well, in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah. We and could it's take. Not like we have Tech 10 anyway. Yeah. So should we maybe get relations up with Austria to try to keep them in our good graces? Yes. Okay. Come January, I'll switch off from France then. So our next conquest is going to be Mantua, right? We're just going to take... Oh, he lost his alliance with Hungary. Damn it. Well, we can still attack the coalition. Force France to help us out again. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Um, let's Steel see. Will help. Aragon will help. So we're really close to being able to take the next idea, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my mouse over one of these galleys to see if they go down in price. Right now we're oh. paying 0 0.04 ducats. Okay, we could we could also just look at our total fleet maintenance because that would go down. That's true. 
I'm very curious to see if this works retroactively. In February. Yay, all of our loans are gone. Nice. Must be making pretty good money. Yep, yeah, eight ducats a month. I'm going to lower our army maintenance, okay? Yeah. Now we're making ten ducats. I also just mothballed part of the navy, so that's part of it. Good. All right, um... You want to keep these galleys? I mean, I'd love They're to cheap. start. I'd start. I'd love to start converting them to light ships, though. Do you foresee a war with the Ottomans coming up? Not unless we poke the bear. I mean, and why even we... if we do, he has seventy-one galleys. I don't think we're going to beat him navally. I mean, if we win against him, it's going to be because of military access through Hungary and Austria and just land troops. And we could probably only siege up to Constantinople. I don't think we could cross the strait. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's get rid of the galleys, because... Well, we can um, try selling them. Yeah, we could try. Um, would Castile buy them? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny if they if they would. You mind if I borrow the diplomat from France? Yeah, go for it. Castile only has 24 ships. I guarantee you his limit is way higher. Yeah, but he might not have any interest in galleys. Is that true? I mean, he's on the Mediterranean. Yeah, but, his, but he, his, doesn't, his, he doesn't build galleys, yeah. His primary node is Sevilla, which is mostly ocean. All right, All right. so you ready for the idea? Yeah, try it, and let's see what the number changes to. All right, what's the number right now? Um, it's The maintenance cost is 0 0.04. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now it's showing on all ships on the on the on your military tab. It's at 0 0.03, which is as, as expected. Fantastic. But the actual ships themselves. Hold on, I just I just messed up the fleet. Where where did you have mm -hmm. these seven guys protecting? Genoa probably. Yeah, of course. Well, they, you they did. Told us the cost. They updated. Yeah. Okay, so it's existing ships went down. All right, good. Alright, let me just pause for a quick second and see if we can sell these ships. I'm going to accept France's marriage, okay? Yes. So who are you selling them to? Castile has no use for galleys, minus 1,000. What about France? I think I think more, more likely it would be Aragon, except they're hostile to us. Yeah, Ara why, why would Aragon like us? We have cores of his. Actually, we don't anymore. No, we do. We have Malta. The fact that they're hostile doesn't prevent them from wanting to... Oh, do you oh, know why we're suddenly making money? Because we lost that uh, army of eight guys. Hmm? I don't think hmm? we lost eight. I thought we lost two. Was it two? Or did you separate the two cannons or something? Yeah, the eight had retreated. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. okay. France has no use. I think maybe the only person that would be willing to buy these would be someone in here like Venice or Genoa. But Venice is our rival, so we can't sell to them. Genoa's only at negative 238 AE. We can work on that. Genoa's outraged, so they won't buy. No, I don't think we can sell it to anybody. Everyone, everyone's outraged. Theodoro's friendly. Okay, they might be willing to buy him. You said you accept Cyprus. Him? Cyprus is plus twenty-five. Greece is plus twenty-five. All right, we got to ship the ships over there before I can consider selling them. They won't ship the ships. Yeah, put them in the Gulf of Satila. See if that'll work. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Greece is a thing over there. Greece is actually close to vassalizing. Huh. That'd be fun. You want a Greek vassal? Sure. <laughs> I like vassals. Alright, I'll get relations with him. So, still no progress on our annexation. We could take the, the diplomatic reputation advisor, but he's level 3. Nah, it's just not worth it. That, that expense is exorbitant. Goodness, that relation with Austria is so bad. Oh yeah, when did you want to attack Mantua? Like right away? Yeah, I think we need to attack the coalition, don't you? Yeah, okay. Let's see if we can sell this stuff first. All right, end of the month, I'll let the diplomat come back. Okay. You're in the wrong sea province. It doesn't matter where they are. It just needs to be far away. All right, go for it. I need the diplomat. Oh, he's almost there. He's almost there. 
Oh, what advisor do you want? Discipline? Yeah, discipline, right? Yes, definitely. Okay. Okay, buying the fleet would exceed... Okay, they want nine fewer galleys. Looks like they are willing to buy five. Great. I wish this thing would just, like, set it to the price that they'd be willing to pay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like the max. Alright, this is so pathetic. They will buy five ships for 20 ducats. Whatever. What if I can sell them, maybe, maybe I can be even cheaper, just give them four. Do you know, is that is that amount that they'll spend, is that based on their current income, or is it based on like how much they could do with a loan? I think it's, they have to have the actual money. They can't okay. use loans to buy them. Alright, well, we just made 20 ducats. I like ducats. Let me try one more. We'll try, like, um, Greece. Try Cyprus. And I just sold to Cyprus. Oh, I thought you did Greece. Okay, try Greece. Yeah, Greece is probably actually a better fit because they are friendly. Mm hmm. They want eight fewer galleys, and I'm offering them ten. <laughs> oh, goodness. They probably already have a few. But at least they'll buy some of it. Yeah, there's always Theodoro, Moldavia. Circassia's friendly. Alright. Well, we made 40 ducats doing this. Alright. Who else was it. there? You said Theodoro? Circassia, Circassia and Theodoro are both friendly as well. Nice. That'll be perfect. We are boat salesmen. Yeah, well, we built them. Better sell them. I mean, 40 ducats so far. That, that's a lot. You can't sell them when you're at war, can you? I don't think so. Alright. So we gotta finish this uh, sale before we declare. Okay. You know what's nice, though? If we're making 10 ducats a month like this, we'll be able to build our embassy pretty soon. Another 20 ducats. And I think we'll do one more sale, and then we'll just have to call it good. Yep, Circassia wants some. Theodora only had 20 ducats available, which is pretty sad. <laughs> well, they are a uh, three base tax OPM. What do you expect? I expect that they have a huge need of galleys. Okay. They only want one galley, Shin. Really? Circassia? Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> one okay I can't offer an increment between 0 and 20 so we can't sell them for anything huh. buying one ship would cause them to exceed their force limit <laughs> okay what about like Crimea they're neutral we'll try them oh Trebizond will buy um, can you merge those fleets okay Trebizond buy oh he wants Two ships, not four. And I almost declared war on him. Damn it. Okay. I just sold him two ships. Nice. Alright, do you want to try one more? Try for Georgia or just call it good? I mean, there's only two ships left. I don't care. You can either keep them or sell them or what? Doesn't matter. Well, it is another 20 ducats. And every 20 ducats is another light ship we can build. Aren't we about Trice. to get new uh, new ships? No, we already did. We, we can build caravels right now. Yeah, I'll start building some light ships. You go sell your stuff. All right, fine. Stop it. Fine, fine. <laughs> I love how I can hear you spending my money. I hear you spending money. <laughs> Selling a we... single galley is really hard. It's just not, it's not worth it, is it? You know what's Ottoman. really nice is since we annexed, he bought it? No, I'm trying to offer it to Ottomans. Ottomans wants 44 fewer galleys. They want, they have a negative desire for galleys. They want negative galleys. They have 71 galleys. Yeah, all right, we're just going to get rid of those. Their naval force limit is 69, and they have 117 ships. That explains because why they want negative galleys. It does. Or at least why they won't buy them. 
Oh, Sweden declared war on Denmark again. Rip Denmark. Oh, people are actually leaving the coalition. Munster left. Okay, hmm. so do you want to attack Mantua now? Oh, whoa, whoa! Shoot. Oh, no. No! Right as I say it. Ugh. Right oh, as I say it. Awful. We could have declared war on Mantua and France and Castile would be allies with us. Hmm. <laughs> Instead... Castile has declared war on Toulouse for for what? Castile has war declared war on France over the claim Aragon had made on Toulouse. You know what's weird? If we declare on Modena, it still shows green check marks for Castile and France. Yeah, but that can't happen. No, I like that though. In fact, um, the uh, what what do we do here? This this is pretty problematic. Ah, uh, what do you want to? Okay, who do you want to be allies with more, France or Castile? I would rather be with Castile, but you said you want to go eat Sevilla. Well, like I, 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 I would see, I would see killing France as an accomplishment. I don't think yeah. killing Castile is much of an accomplishment. I, I think that France is going to be our enemy no matter what in the future because of our border, and mm -hmm. eventually they're going to take that mission. So I agree. I think we should side with Castile. So we join this on Castile's side, if if they'll call us. Oh, France called us. Oh shit! Do we just ignore this then? Well, if we if we're really not going to do it, we would dissolve the alliance and then decline, so we can avoid the prestige hit. Well, we're still going to lose stability. No, we're not. We don't. No, not if you de if you decline the if you dissolve oh, the alliance right. what before. Am I, what am I thinking? I'm thinking I of. I don't know. I'm crazy. Yeah, you are. This is known. Mm-hmm. So I, you want me to hit the button? Dissolve the alliance. I think so. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's break the alliance with France. Oh, goodness. Watch the coalition attack us instantly. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. France is still at 54 aggressive expansion, so... We'll see. They might join Unpause. the coalition. Okay, so decline the call. Okay. Negative 68. Wow. It happens. They refused to join our war, broke our alliance, dishonored alliance. <laughs> Yep, negative 150 from one event. Talk about a backstab. And then we get plus 10 opinion with Castile for five years because we oh, no. refuse to join a war. So what? now that we broke our alliance with France, now is when the Ottomans go hostile against us. That's stupid. Now they want Calabria, Salento, Bari. That's really Did dumb. Did you take a mission or something? Yeah, you took a mission. That's what it is. I hate missions. I really do not like missions in this game. Oh, France is outraged. He's going to join. He's going to coalition. No. It's okay. We got the defense of Castile, right? Castile, yeah. Castile, who hasn't called us into their war, by the way. Will he call us in? I don't know if he will. He should he have. Won't. He will not because we have, a, we have a marriage. He knows that it will destabilize us. So maybe we should just pay the stability. It's only 60 points. So that we can so break, break it. The marriage? Yeah, and then we can actually get called in. Like, we, we need Castile to, to help us, and we need Castile to win this war. Well, currently, Castile's gonna get his ass handed to him in Bern. I mean, it's not even a close. What are you talking about? Look at Bern. Oh, gosh. 55,000 troops. Jesus. He declared the war, though, knowing that we wouldn't be on his side. Why would he do this? I don't know. Artificial intelligence. Yeah. I just wanted to form Italy, Shen. So it... do we... There you go. Having a royal marriage, negative one stability. So they're calling us in anyway. Um, should we just break the marriage? Yeah, I mean, we might as well get... I mean, if we're going to take the stability hit... Okay, let's pull the diplomat back from Ottomans. Unpause, please. Okay. Gosh, this is so stupid. I agree. And Castile has no idea how to fight this war. No, they're going to lose. We need to get our maintenance up now. And get into the mountains of Piedmont. Okay, so now, you've broken Burgundy's the thing. Burgundy's in this war. Yeah, Burgundy's in the war. That's good. All right, so now we, uh, we accept the call. Yes? Yep, go for it. Oh, Hungary's in the war, right. I forgot about Hungary. 
We have no leader. We need a leader. Are you lucky or am I lucky? Who wants to click the button? Mm. Also, is our navy safe? We could turn our stupid king into a leader. He is pretty stupid. Our, our heir is pretty stupid too. Yeah, we get a lot of bad leaders. <laughs> that's because of you. You're super oh. lucky. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, actually just... a, that's actually a good fight. Well, it's a 6-3 versus a 0-1. Never mind, it's not a good fight. But they're right, going to suffer just... a lot of attrition. I'm going to turn our leader into a general. Let's we'll see what happens. Good luck. 3-2, eh, I'll take it. So do we just hug uh, Burgundy's troops and pray for the best? Or what's the plan? How do we defeat that hide stack of 76,000? The 76,000 will, will kill itself to attrition, I think. We hide in the mountains. It's the only okay. place we can go. If we head out in Piedmont, there's rivers all around. We just have to hope that we do well. We need more artillery. We can recruit some. We need to have a very strong artillery line hanging out in the mountains. That's really it. Alright, got two more artillery going. Some of the uh, trade ships are finishing. Yep. Fantastic. And I... Did, did you say... Do you, uh, is it safe for us to keep the trade ships out? It should be, yes. Um, oh, 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 there's oh. the coalition. Coalition. Well, the good news about the coalition is... What's the Austria, good news? Austria joined. Aragon and Castile joined. And Burgundy can't join against us because we're allied in the same war against France. So we really aren't at war with anyone extra. I mean, there's Bohemia and then all the little northern princes, but... It's it, really... doesn't look, it doesn't look that menacing, no. No, it'd Hopefully be much... Austria will keep them in check. Yeah. And besides, Austria, aside from that, they weren't at war. So the, Austria will take care of this war for us. Well, they'll try. Yeah. And they'll fail. <laughs> We'll have to fight, probably. Alright, oh, well, so um, do you want to go kill the army of Mantua? Um, I think we should go take Navy not okay. Though. Navy not okay. Why is the Navy not okay? What's wrong? Because France has a, an admiral and a lot of heavies and stuff. Well, what the hell, Shen? Well, if you unpause, we can try to leave. Clicking faster will make it more likely. Yeah, we got out. See? We lost two ships. Big deal. Big deal. They keep on dying. Now, I did hear the alarm going off. Are we just going to call it? Yeah, I think so. I, I took the All army right. out of Piedmont to go engage that 7th stack, by the way. Yep, looks good. All right, cool. Well, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you again tomorrow when we hopefully don't die to the Coalition. Yeah, this is this is probably the, the scariest war so far. Look at that Diplomat. Jesus. All right, see you later, everyone. See you soon.